Durban, South Africa. No? Oh, East London? Uh, East London, South Africa. Okay, this is our East London tour, and this is our... Tobela. 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 Tobela? Yes. I'm close? I'm close. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. David. Yes. Beautiful. This is Alice. This is when Nelson Mandela went to university. Um, this uh, campus. Not this campus, but this university. This is uh, in Alice. Uh, we've got three universities here in East London. It's Porte, or Tessasur University, and University of South Africa. So no one is doing anything today. They're like, yeah, we That's sort right. it. So, If I say Kukamakanda, that means scrambled eggs. Kukamakanda, scrambled eggs. Yeah. So, and the last one is the X. Kosa, Isi Kosa is the language we speak. Amakosa is the people that ask. Amakosa, that's the tribe. So, you've got all different tribes in South Africa. But the reason we've got the click is because the first people to be here in this place are the Koi Sen, known as Bushmen. So, they're the first people. them and then because remember all these tribes you find in South Africa they come from East Central Africa but if you look at Africa as a continent you get all your rivers on the eastern side of the big rivers and big lakes on the eastern side of the continent so through migration searching for grazing lands waterways so they migrated on the east side and eventually they came into South Africa under the Muni nation so the umbrella body of the Muni nation under the Muni nation, then you get all these tribes, the Kosas, the Vendor, the Zulu, the Tswana, the Sotos, uh, Betis, so all these racial tribes you find, uh, groups you find in South Africa, and then they spread themselves uh, to different parts of the, of the country, and then we as Kosas, we are moving closely to the Zulus, which you find in the Deben area, but Zulu Natal, and then uh, through conflicts and small uh, tribal wars, we pushed, we, 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 we were forced to push down and then eventually we ended up in the Eastern Cape and then that's where we come across the Khoisan people and then through mixing and living with them and we adopted three cliques. In their language they've got nine cliques. So when they start speaking it's a flow of cliques until they stop conversation. So even myself when they speak I just speak quiet. <laughs> I just like the sound and the, the, just the flow. So it's, every time they speak, it's like they do the tongue to stuff like this with the normal conversation. So because every second sound is a click. So very few. And then they've got different symbols for their clicks. Um, they've got loud cues, they've got soft cues, they've got different, like for example, there's a place called Pat, which is in the north, 
coast of uh, Western Cape and then when you write that at exclamation mark first and K and then W and then and then and then T and then U. But if I would write that in it's a closer, it would be just a Q and the W and the A. But because it's a Khoisan language and, and, and a name, so they write it differently. So that's why they've got more clicks than us and more different sounding clicks. and then they came up with a system that's called apartheid to run, to run the country. So the apartheid was divided. European, the European alphabet, right? Yeah. Like you would, so how, how could, did you have a written language before the, the no. Europeans came? No, we, we so, so, I mean, well, we, know, didn't, we didn't have any written language. No, you didn't have, right? Yeah, it has a symbol. And, yeah, we had some, some, some kind of symbols because everything was just communicated. Uh, I'm just curious how you would have developed a written language, yeah. you know, based on the sounds that you make. Um, like choosing, choosing the Q or the K and the W to yeah, make must have taken them a long right? time to do Yeah, yeah. yeah that, 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 that's that's taken kind of long interesting time. how they were Interesting yeah. enough, when you stop in the second one, the other way you got to do it. Yeah. Uh, and that bridge yeah. we, we just took now, before this one, um, this is the only pre pedestrian, train, and vehicle bridge in South Africa. Ah, extremely. Yeah. We recently done it because back in the day they used to have a train going through the city. It just got busy and too confusing. They removed the train. Busy street to the moon. So this is where everyone does the shopping, banks, and everything. So it's here. They, they tend to vandalize everything and they destroy everything and then they, they, they make fire everywhere. And this is so the anger and the frustration of who are serving the anger. So, yeah, that's Steve Nico. And um, Steve Nico was a founding member of the Black Consciousness Movement. Uh, it was not necessarily uh, a political party, but it was the movement to, uh, to sort of. We've got the red and our flag that stands for the blood that they have spilled over the years um, and then you've got blue blue represents the two oceans that surround South Africa Indian and Atlantic Ocean the green represents the land that we live in the gold represents the resources that we get from the land and the white represents is a symbol of peace in our land. so there's our colors and our national flag the white symbol symbol of peace yeah um yeah not good that's that.
at the oldest township in South in East London. It's called Dangan Village. So if, if you go a little bit to the right, there's a, there's a, there's a yellow church with a red roof right up there. Oh, okay. That one over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that section with these houses, yeah. Um, that side of the road, that was meant for black tribes. So the, the, the native tribes, the Corsairs. So it's the oldest township in East London. It's called Duncan Village. Meant for colors. So that's a mixed race, colored people. If you look now on the right, right from them. So that's why they were kept separate so that they don't form a collision and then become a, is it still working that way? No, no, no. Now you can go anywhere. You can live wherever you go. government and those they used to call it demonstrations so those demonstrations can come can become violent and then remember there's ANC which is the ruling party which was the majority in the area then you got PAC then you got a little bit of IFP um, and then they came into conflict uh, when they came into conflict uh, a number of ward councillors got uh, killed The reason why it's called Toilet City, the government first built toilets before they can build houses. Uh, yeah, it was just toilets everywhere. Uh, that's why it's called, even today now, it's known as, as Toilet City. So wait, but you're talking about Toilet City, is this one on your right? Yeah, this one, this one there. On your right. Yeah, because that one is part of the Dangan village, uh -huh. but Dangan village now spilled into the Toilet City. Now how about this on the left, which of course is obviously much nicer looking. Are those houses on the left versus these houses on the right? right? Ah, your employment, your employment, and um, yeah, where you work and your salary, and determine whether you qualify for the house. That you
Ja, ich war jetzt. Ich habe gesagt, 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 ich habe ges